Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyson here, and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you all about Christmas time. So the first thing I wanna recommend is that you don't eat shit at Christmas time, okay? Nah, I'm just joking. So, look guys, to be honest with you, Christmas time is the one time of year, or you know, there's a couple of holidays where you really need to enjoy yourself and you need to be able to just be able to relax. And this is coming from someone like me, who when I was younger, I used to be really, really scared when it came to eating and actually enjoying myself. Like I wouldn't be able to go out to dinners sometimes when I'd go out to like Sizzler or stuff like that with my parents. After I ate, I felt so guilty about it because I ate food that you know like I wouldn't usually eat and it tasted good at the time, but I just felt so guilty and like I legit wanted to throw up. I got to that point where I just felt like, I was like, no, I'm just getting fat. Or another time, right, I actually went and did this eating challenge with a friend. And afterwards, the first thing I did after this challenge, I went straight to the gym. I was at the gym for two hours on the treadmill running. And you can't have this unhealthy mindset. Sometimes when it comes to times like Christmas, when it comes to times like maybe your birthday or something that's a special event in your life, you have to let go, guys. You have to enjoy it. You can't be stressed all the time because you've got to think about longevity. It's you're enjoying the moment now, which means, you know, like you're having a good time with your family, you're being surrounded by friends and family, by good food, by happy days, and you embrace it, or you can be totally away from everybody, eating your stupid amount of food, or stressing over what you've just eaten, and calling yourself a fatty, and it's not gonna do anything to you. It's gonna prevent, it's gonna promote more stress in your life. But there are some ways you guys can prevent a couple of things, okay? So if you wanna feel less guilty during this Christmas, what I suggest is save the crap, like save the crappy food for Christmas Day. You know, Christmas Day is on the 25th. I mean, like, you know, maybe New Year's night, maybe Christmas Eve you have something too. Maybe Christmas Eve, you know, you, you have some cookies and milk or whatever. And they don't have to be low fat, gluten free, you know, something small. Have a, have a fucking cookie, have a real cookie. And then have whatever you want to have on Christmas Day. But leave it at that. You've got, you know, Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day, and the rest of the time you don't have to be eating shit. Christmas Day, and the rest of the time you don't have to be eating shit. What happens is we get in the mindset is we're like, oh yeah, it's the holiday time, so it's the 14th of December, and I'm gonna start eating, like, you know, uh, I'll wait till New Year's. People love to put shit off till New Year's. Don't put it off, all right? You've got, you've got that time to eat crap and enjoy it, but only keep it to Christmas Day. One day of eating like crap isn't gonna, like, you're not gonna gain 10 kilos. Like, that used to be the mindset for me. I used to, I'd freak out, I'm like, I'm gonna put on all this weight because I ate bad one day. It doesn't happen like that. So make sure the days before you're eating really well. Make sure you keep it on, on, um, on track. And also, if you want, reduce your calories a little bit less every day, so that way it's not gonna be as detrimental on Christmas Day. So that's no tip number one. Eat on a little bit worse on New Year's, on Christmas Eve, but for, like if you wanna eat really bad more on Christmas Day, that's the only time. The second tip you guys can actually do is to exercise in the morning. So do some high intensity stuff, or go for a walk after you have a meal. So usually, you know, like for breakfast, for us and my family, we like to have pancakes for breakfast for Christmas Day. I don't know, it's just like all have pancakes, all have bacon and something. And then so, you know, you like, so you start off with pretty, like pretty crappy food. But if you want to offset that, just go do some exercise before it, like some high intensity stuff, 20 minutes, or go and do some stuff after it. Like, you know, go for a walk with the family after breakfast. Go with the family, like, it's Christmas Day, be together. Go and do something together. Go out and play some backyard cricket or go for a walk with the family. That way, you know, you keep an active during the day and, the, and it's not gonna be as detrimental. You're not gonna feel as bad because you're gonna say, okay, I did some moving around, I went and did something. Or use some new, like, you know, if you get some good toys or cool stuff you can go and use, go and use it. You know, go and enjoy that time. And the same when it comes to lunchtime, you know, afterwards, go for another walk or something. If, as long as you keep an active, you don't have to exercise, but, just go and keep active, keep yourself moving because all these things, you know, like it's gonna help. It's more about helping the stress of you because if you're like me and you get stressed about these things, you just wanna make sure you're feeling better about what you're actually doing. 
because I can tell you all these things and you can go, yeah, I'll do it. But at the end of the day, you're probably going to be like me and you're probably going to be stressing. So if you start cutting, like doing some of these things, it's not going to be as detrimental to the I promise you. The third thing is focus on your protein and veggies, all right? So I know that I love rumbles and I'm going to be smashing down a lot of rumbles on that day. Like not actual, so actually, I'll tell you something, I don't drink, so it's going to be rumless balls. I'm going to be eating uh, pavlova probably, trifle, um, and there'll be a lot of seafood and stuff too. So that's what you guys need to focus on first. If you're going to have all those sweets like cookies, if you drink, whatever, all those chopped stuff, what I would suggest is focus on your protein first. So, you know, in Australia, we love, a lot of us have seafood. So make sure you're having your seafood, make sure you're having prawns, uh, if you have your steak or if you're having um, lean cuts of meat, all that stuff. Have it first with your veggies. Just have that as the first round. Have that as the first meal. Get yourself full because protein is satisfying. So it also makes you feel fuller. So that way you're not, like you can still enjoy your other foods, but you won't eat as much. Because a lot of people, is a third thing, is that we love to gorge ourselves on food. People love to just go nuts and go, oh, I'm just gonna eat as much as I can. Tyson said, you know, enjoy this day, eat as much as I can, and people blow it out of the water. And that is when you can actually cause a lot of problems. That's gonna be an unhealthy relationship with food. So it's just making sure you're controlling what you're eating too. So focus on the protein and the veggies, that way to fill you up a little bit, then go for your second serving, then go and enjoy the other stuff, all your pastries, I don't know what you guys eat, oh, like I'm not too sure, different types of customs and family, but focus on the good quality stuff first and then move to the crappy food. So it's really simple guys, keep yourself moving, eat only on Christmas day because that is the holiday, eat what you want, enjoy it, focus on protein first and keep yourself active again, you know, those type of things. At the end of the day, do what's going to take stress off your body and take stress off your mind. It's really simple. So, I hope the video is informative, guys. I hope you have a really good Christmas, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. See ya.